Hello everyone, welcome to another Extraordinary Adventures video and in this video we're going to go ahead and talk about the world over over heaven. So most of you guys who have actually seen my videos from long long time ago of the Extraordinary videos that I made from before too, then you'll know that I actually made myself the world over over heaven video from before and I mistakenly uploaded without realizing that it's supposed to be broken so i should have changed the title should have named it um the world over over heaven broken uh, all that stuff like that and i shouldn't just said showcase on that one but this one we're gonna actually do the right thing which is of course titling the right thing so we're gonna get we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves the world over over heaven and see whether or not it's still broken as it is or it's now usable so let's go ahead and do this so what you'll need to get yourself the world over over heaven is that you'll need a the world over which i actually have so i'm gonna show you as you can see there the world over there and this is what it's going to look like and what you'll need next is dio's diary go ahead get yourself dio's diary after you get this to here go ahead and use that click and then use now, as you can see there, this is the this animation or whatever, and then boom. So, we're gonna go ahead and check ourselves whether or not we have it. So, as you can see there, the world over, over heaven, which is H on the end. So, let's click Q and see whether or not it's what we can see right now. So, this time here, we had finally, finally gotten ourselves. Now, you can actually see the stand. Before it was broken, so you really couldn't see this stand. I've actually made a video of this before. However, I okay, I'm dumb. I I'm very very sorry. I was wrong. So um, I've actually made a video about this before, but it wasn't this game. It was another game. I I'm sorry. It was another game. I, I thought I made it with this one here. But I think it didn't have... Uh, I didn't do a video about this here. I apologize. So, um... Wrong. Wrong JoJo game. But we're, we're talking about the world over. So, let's just do that. So, right now I'm going to show you how it looks like when the punches. Um, when you click Z, you do a stand leap. Hold X for blocking. Um, J... No, not G for posing but the pose does not work and for those words at the top of your head and so on and so forth now let's go ahead and talk about the move set now there's a passive move set of the world over over heaven and that's called gone to heaven now what this does is my stand gives me the ability to overwrite reality so that i can bypass return to zero and apathat and mastered ultra inkings passive so as i already said now that we're done talking about the passive, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, moveset that actually deals damage. Now the first one is called the Ascended Muda Barrage. Now what this does is you'll need to hold E and it does this. So the world over heaven over uh, the world over over heaven barrages the enemy with devastating force. This barrage is much faster than that of its original counterpart. So you're kicking, you're not punching, so it's a lot of barrage of kicks. Now let's go to the next one, which is the R1. It's called the Ascended... I can't say that correctly. W-R-Y-Y-Y-Y. Punch. Now what this does is that your stand will perform a strong punch. That's it. That deals an incredible amount of damage. Simple as that. Now let's go with the next one, which is the T. Now the T is called the Reality Override. So what this does is that you'll just do another strong punch it's except this strong punch has its own like charge if you have watched dragon ball then you'll know the kame kameha that's what i'm talking about you do a charge you just wait a little bit longer then boof but instead this is a punch so go ahead and click t and it does this you go wait longer and then it does this punch with a little um thingy effect on the day there once it does strikes the opponent with that punch, it deals a godly amount of damage, okay? It deals godly amount of damage. 
Now, let's go to the next one, which is heal override. So, if you're not that type of a combat person and you want to, like, save your allies and probably heal them, well, you can by clicking Y. When you click Y, you do that. Unfortunately, the, um... The animation uh, looks a little bit broken here because uh, it did the effect except my um, stand didn't actually move. So let's be sorry one more time. Ah, uh, there's cooldown. I completely forgot. There. Uh, no, that was wrong. Why? Why? There. Uh, it's it's broken. So yeah, it's broken. Clearly it's broken. Now, if you want to heal yourself, hold B and then click Y. It's not broken, this one here. It's perfectly good. It heals you, and if you don't like, don't like, like, um, healing other people, you can heal yourself by holding B and then clicking Y. That's self-healing, okay? It's called the self-heal overwrite. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the next one, which is the H. Now, this thing is called the Reality Shattering Pulse. Now, when you click H, you're gonna go ahead and punch that crown, and whoever is around you, whoever, whatever enemy you have around you, they will get damaged, and they will be um, going up. They will be, like, flying upwards and then falling down. And this move here deals a godly amount of damage who, to whoever was around me, okay? Now let's go to the last and final moveset which is Time Stop. This here is already in its name, you just stop time for at least 10 seconds. Go ahead and click F, and once you click F, it will stop time and you can do whatever you want with uh, whatever you want in this time because everyone stopped except for the, uh, except for, um, except for, uh, except for stands that can actually move th in Time Stop. So be careful with stands that actually can move in Time Stop. Um, misinformation, this is, isn't actually the last one. The, na the last one is the Reality Warping Knife. Now, when you click V, it, uh, ma it makes a knife, which you can throw towards your opponent. It's a glowing knife, to be more exact. And it can charge a burst of lightning once it gets, um, uh, it once it hits a target. And this, um, knife here deals incredible amount of damage. By the way, it does not really follow wherever your mouse go. You have to uh, look at the specific person. Recommended on having first person or um, shift lock. Yes, that would be it for this video. I don't have anything more else to say about the world over over heaven except for all of the things i just said in this video i do apologize for uh, misleading saying that i've actually gotten this before i have actually not gotten this before it was another game i just misled it you know i didn't know that i didn't know this i should have gotten more information before i had said that but yes if you want to know more about the game or if you want to know more about the stand i have right now i would clearly recommend you to go to a different youtuber who knows more than i do because i'm not a professional here i don't know a lot of things i'm just saying random stuff that possibly might not be correct so go to another youtuber they will help you with the information that you truly need but i'm done here i'm done talking i'm done here